And I think that by in inculcating, um, you know, or, or providing a, a culture where students can learn from each other is sort of the really best medicine, you know. I mean, really to overcome this desensitization, it's the best medicine. You know that in the classroom, when we have discussions about this, students learn much better from other students than they do from faculty, you know. And that students, you know, and, and my accomplishment, as a, my accomplishments as a teacher, I see, is in what my students, if my students are changed in some way, great. If they change me, great. Those are accomplishments. You know, my students, my students change me. Hopefully, I, I affect them a little bit, but they affect me, you know, certainly. And then I have people who come out of school. We have people who graduate, like Ashley, who takes what we taught them <coughs> in class, or not what we taught them, but what they were exposed to in class, and use this to help change the world, you know. And no, I, I really do mean that. And Ashley is a student who um, is a, is a um, theater major and a sociology and anthropology major. And she starts started her after she left Pace. She went on for a master's in uh, performance studies at NYU. Finished her master's and started a little theater group that really. I mean, she's sensational. She does these these productions that elevate people's consciousness and awareness to things like Rachel Corey, um, you know, and uh, you know, we can go on and on with the, with a the number of plays that you produced and helped to write. But I think, you know, I think what we're very fortunate uh, to, to be sharing an environment with students who are, you know, who enrich our lives and can go on to enrich the lives of other people. So if we're talking about peace, I think students have a lot to teach us, you know, about peace, and students have a lot to teach us about war. Um, many of my students have been, you know, it's very interesting. I started teaching about 20, 24, 25 years ago, full time, and at the time I had a lot more people who were, um, who were veterans in my class than I do now. You know, I don't have veterans anymore. I don't. I don't even see veterans from Iraq. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about veterans from the war in Vietnam. I'm talking about Iraqi veterans. You know, coming to school. You know, I think it's much harder for, for them to, to do that. I you know I think you know some of the some of the issues that I saw. You know, again, I'm you know this. You know, the Vietnam. I have to say. You know, and I, I didn't say this in the start, but I have to say that the war in Vietnam changed my life immensely as it changed the lives of a number of people in my generation immensely. Um, you, you know, I went to see, you know, some friends of mine got me tickets for hair. <laughs> you one? Yeah. Oh. I, I just, I mean, I was just so, I mean, I had seen the hair originally, you know, and then, and then but, but there was a difference in seeing hair in 1969 and seeing hair in 2009 or 2000, yeah, 2001. It's like, this is like a parody on the war. It's a parody, you know, the people marching with, sign. it's like, a it was like a joke. This, you know, the war in Vietnam was something that was extremely real and affected the lives of so many people. Partially because it wasn't teachers, so much, I, although a lot of teachers were teaching us about it, had teach-ins, and that's sort of, this is where many of the teach-ins begins in the 1960s, and, you know, mid 1960s and 1970s. Um, but the war in Vietnam changed people's lives because it, it was a life and death issue for so many of us. I mean, we were we were just. Uh, and it was an issue that elevated our consciousness to things like colonialism, uh, you know, to issues that you know really impacted the world that we were part of that we didn't even know we were part of. You know, it's so much hard. It's so much more of a challenge today. It, it is so much more of a challenge. Today. 